Welcome to another day of Stitchmas slash Vlogmas and it's the ninth day of Advent. We're going along quite nicely. I'm actually quite pleased actually there's so many days of December left. Uh, I have some apologies. I did notice in the two times I sat in front of the camera yesterday you could hear the children playing so and I can hear them again now so they must be having a morning break now and then when I was filming it must have been a lunch break so I'm sorry if you can hear that noise in the background but I think it's just going to be unavoidable you know with with doing vlogmas because obviously I just have to try and fit in when I can chat to you as and when I haven't actually got time a long time to speak to you now you'll probably be relieved so I'm going to open the advent calendars and I'm just going to show you my progress from last night so I'm just warning you I'm making Robin the Robin and he is a crochet toft pattern now how you might imagine a little knitted or crochet robin you might imagine a lovely little sweet handheld thing now i will warn you this robin is going to look like it's been on uh steroids or um what are those things they give animals to try and plump them up a bit for you know the food industry you know the things you know you don't really want to be giving animals so the, the reason you know a lot of people go vegetarian over so anyway it basically looks like that he looks like he's a robin that's getting fattened up for christmas basically so on the, the body side of things he looks okay it's you know it's like a doll style robin not a robin as you would imagine in the wild right <laughs> so the, this is the the main body of him and i'm going to show you the one leg it's massive isn't it so if you imagine when this is going to be attached it's going to have these long legs. That's what I was telling you about in a previous video. It's going to be very leggy like this, which you expect these to be leggy because it's a flamingo, isn't it? And they have long legs, but robins don't. But yeah, this is going to be a leggy, a leggy robin with his beefed up legs, basically. <laughs> and so I've finished that leg totally. It just needs to be sewn on. I suspect it needs a little bit of stuffing just in here. I'm not going to bother stuffing the rest of the foot, I don't think. And unless I want to shove um, a pipe cleaner in it so it's bendable, that's a possibility. And here's the next one. So that's, you're working from the top down with this. So you start at the thigh and then you're working. So I'm just starting to do the increasing to start doing the foot. So, but what's quite nice is Toft has got an advent calendar and they're doing a crochet along and they're making a bird. It's not a robin. So I think I'm around about the stage they're at from what I've seen is they've done the whole body and head and they basically I think they'd done down to there um yesterday I don't know what it's going to be today um but they hadn't done any feet but I've done a foot last night so yeah that's not bad progress really is it I finished there because you saw it yesterday I think it was up to about there so I've finished that off and then I've done all of this leg and all of that so i don't think it's going to take long to make at all so uh yeah and i'll be out i think i might do then knitting and crochet wise i think i might make santa mouse and that means i'll have knitted all four mice then for my knitted mice because obviously i did one last year the skier i've done two this year in november i think i've done them in november and yeah i'll be able to do santa mouse as long as i've got the yarn right anyway advent calendars because i've got i'm going ice skating oh and i'm wearing this is for you karen i'm wearing my cozy jacket i think the pattern designer is the pattern scout um yeah but it's lovely and it's all fur on the inside yeah it's lovely so and i, I made my the one with the hood on it i can't remember the other one it was a collar i think initially i was thinking of putting the collar in and the hood to protect the fur from the makeup but i didn't end up doing it in the end i think it was just because I, I think what this was like to work with i just decided against it anyway calendars right hemline number nine what time is it yeah i've got to go in a moment but what it is i normally can get on the ice for a certain time and uh, i'm never the, on the ice when the ice opens i'm always getting on uh, you know after it opens 
Right, number nine. Oh, it's a big box today. Oh, and I have had a delivery from Mary Angela. Do you remember me telling you that Mary Angela was going to send me something for the missing um a missing day uh in my advent calendar because i've got a few missing days wow she sent me more than one item wrapped up for my advent calendar so i i haven't counted but i don't think i'm gonna have an empty day now um but she, um but i can open it at christmas if i want to uh, as well so so thank you so much mary Angela. i have thanked her via message so yeah but thank you again it was just i was so excited and it's got lovely wrapping paper on uh, it's got wrap uh, cat paper on it and these little wooden tags which I could definitely reuse oh right okay well the box is a bit overboard for what's in it but I suppose they had to fill that box up but it says assorted hand needles so there we go these are always handy and look it hasn't got far to get stored there we go my needle drawer that I've left out right so I'll pop that in the bag crafty so and so now I know number nine's on the top don't I so there'll be no cutting out today not unless I end up rattling the bag around too much I can't oh there's my scissors I don't want I don't want to use the scissors because I don't want to cut what's in there. Do you know when you could feel it's going right to the top and right to the bottom? Ah, oh, oh lovely. They're crafty so and so stickers and they actually um they're sewing themed. I think they're all sewing themed yeah, they're all sewing themed. So do you know what? I find these stickers quite useful. They're nice if you're posting things to people. And do you know if I was to do my own advent calendar last year, they're good for putting over the tissue, aren't they? So, you know, I have got a sticker book somewhere. I used to, I started keeping a sewing sticker book. But do you know what? I like using the stickers now. So I don't tend to put them in the sticker book so much. So that's lovely. I actually have a place for stickers and embellishments and things. And that is over there. So I'm not going to put it away. I, I've noticed actually, I've, I've kind of got a place for everything, haven't I? You know, so I'm fairly organised. Everything I've opened so far is it's had a home to go to right number nine ah now i haven't wrapped this but i can i can guess where this is from because this was something i bought fairly recently and it is the under the olive tree knitting on etsy it's got a thank you sticker on it I'll be able to review my items on Etsy, won't I? Ah, oh, yes, this is brilliant. Now, this is something that is quite like nice to have and it's useful. So I've bought it to attach to the zip of um, like a knitting and crochet bag that I use where I keep bits and bobs. And it's a wooden sock, look. It's got a hook on it. And it's the... Uh, I never know how to say this. The kit kitten stitch basically it do you know when you, every time you do the kitten stitch is basically do you know when you finish casting it off you get to the casting off and you need to do a closed edge then you've cast off and you need to close the edge off well you do it you need you leave your needles on you've got to your last row and then you do this stitch with a needle and you have to go in and out you go through the back loop this way front loop this way and i always every time i need to do it and you would need it with a sock down pattern uh, i always forget i think you do something different at the start and then it's repetitive but it's just a little reminder uh set up pearl front knit back and then it says knit front pull the stitch off Pearl the back one, and I guess you leave it on. Then, no, you pearl it off. It says pearl, leave back, and then it says pearl off, 
knit leave. Do you know what? I, I think I'd still have to look up the kitten stitch, even with this. It's still boggling my brain. But I think it would be just good then. You could just keep an eye on this and it'll probably jog your memory. Surely when I next do it, it will probably all come screaming back to me. But that is why I bought this, because it's one of those sort of techniques if someone said, oh, show me this kitten stitch, uh, I'd have to think, oh, I'm going to need to jog my memory because I don't do it enough. I have to remind myself. Um, I used to be like that when I was a little girl and I used to knit. I always used to say when I wanted to do the pearl stitch, I used to have to go back to my mum and say, mum, I forgot pearl stitch. Can you show me pearl stitch again? Yeah, I always used to. I never used to forget cast on, knit or cast off but I used to forget pearl but I obviously never forget pearl you, you know uh, later on as I got into my teens I, I obviously knew it but yeah when I was a child it was just something I used to forget and this is for me you know the, the kitten stitch I always forget it and I have to jog my memory so anyway I'm going to go now I'm going ice skating if I'm brave enough I, I've got the, the the phone holder in the bag if I'm brave enough I'll get it out the only trouble I had last time is I set it up in a corner Corner, just so I could do a few little things to show you in a corner. There's only so much I can do in a corner, really. It's nice when you've got, you know, I can work up and down the rink and things. But I had to be careful on where I was pointing the camera because I didn't want anyone saying you can't do that. But um, everybody was try like, trying to get in the camera. Like I, I managed to cut bits out. But the problem is because they're thinking, oh, I want to be on film, people that were skating there they were actually getting in my way I was setting up to do something I was about to go into it and then I'd have someone trying to do some hockey stuff uh right where I need to do a jump or something so yeah I was having a little little bit of a nightmare but yeah maybe I'll film a little bit of skating again for you and um and if there's anything of interest later on I'll film that as well so yeah we'll just see what this day holds regarding my children my eldest is at home my husband is at home I know he's out the front I don't know what he's doing and um my middle child is in college and my youngest is in school so obviously school pickups and things getting food and things i mean i have been having a dig around my cupboards actually looking for baking things so i was trying to find my um what do you call it my piping bag do you know when you want to pipe your icing but i couldn't find it in the house so and I, I tried to find a few other things couldn't find them so i'm guessing a lot of the stuff's in the utility but the utility roof is leaking and there's no point it getting it sorted now because we're knocking it down so yeah and i tried i tried in um I tried on a plastic bag and uh, and my foot was all wet. Oh, yeah, it was awful. So, yeah, it's an, there's no radiator in there either because it used to be an extended bit of kitchen with an archway. But my husband blocked up the archway and put a door in and there was always a plan to put a radiator in there and there isn't a radiator, so it's freezing cold. So, yeah, we'll just see. But, yeah, I'm, I am going to do some baking with you. But, uh, yeah, but I don't know what yet. So, anyway, I'm going to go and I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> Right, I'm at the ice rink, right? I'm not going to be filming. It, I, you probably can't see from here. That part of the rink is cut off. You can see someone from Love Island, the girl behind me. But the rest of the ice rink, they've got loads and loads of people. It's up, there's loads of schools here, taking a really small amount of space. So yeah, I'm not going to be filming today, unfortunately, but I'll catch up with you later.
Right, welcome back to the final part of my video. Now that was quite funny, wasn't it? I There I was trying to tell you, I was totally embarrassed there talking to the camera saying I'm not going to be filming because of everything that was going on. There was loads of schools. I don't think you could really see from, from the footage because when I was filming there, it was filming a bit of ice rink that's sectioned off that no one else is allowed on but the dan the you know the dancing and ice people but yeah it was mayhem absolute mayhem because they normally have morning sessions and afternoon sessions but since we've been back after covid they only have the morning sessions so we've basically only got two thirds of the ice rink to use because of the the dancing and ice people and then they get they're getting all the schools coming in every single day and then the christmas skaters so yeah it's a little bit of a nightmare so um as it happens you'll have seen a little bit of footage of me doing a bit of skating i think it it was just a couple of minutes long and that was what my coach took but unfortunately you'll have seen two um shaded out bits uh at the end of the screen because she's took it in portrait not landscape so it's missed bits out but uh, never mind but anyway i am really glad that i'm home the Christmas lights haven't come on yet and it's quarter past four, right? And it's because my husband said they're on like a bit of a timer. So when he actually installed them last night, that's when they're going to come on. I said, oh no, we need them coming on much earlier. So he said what he'll do is he'll readjust them tomorrow. He's out at the moment. It's been chaotic actually. I came home, I had lunch. Um, my husband said I need to take he's basically got a van he's com a company van uh, that he needs to sell and uh, so he said yeah I'll um I need to drop it to have it MOT'd and things. So you're going to have to follow me over. So I've had to follow him over to this car garage. This is straight after lunch. And so then he got in the driver's seat. He said, I need to pick something up from Argos. Um, that's a click and collect. So we drove over to the Argos. Then... Um, while as soon as we'd left the house um i had a notification to say the postman's at the door and i'd got in contact with my eldest son who was at home and he said it's gone next door so we had to then nip home retrieve our parcel and then my husband had to collect something that he's selling just some dj thing that he doesn't want anymore and uh so yeah so then he's we drove then over to school to college then we had to drive over to my husband's office so he could then get his his own van where he left that this morning when he got when and got the van that he's selling so oh i'm sorry if that's really confusing but that was my afternoon after lunch and i've literally i've only just got back home and i've just basically i've shut the chicken well i shut the chickens in their run but um they, they've come out of the run out of their coop into the run so I couldn't shut their door door because they're like oh what's going on here so yeah I've just shut those in and um and give the cat some more food and I've come and sat with you uh, and I've made a coffee in this is my first drink out of this mug and um well I couldn't find it could I found it in the sink it's been used so the only person my eldest son my 18 year old has decided this was the drink he was going to have a drink out of but i actually keep my craft mugs separate from the regular mugs but uh, and he's used right german knitting one with all those knitting balls my husband found that in his bedroom he keeps going for all the all the special craft mugs but never mind anyway i've had a delivery but I don't know if I should be opening it or not, right? See what you think. Let me have a sip. <gasps> oh, and I haven't forgotten about, um, do you know the delivery I had from Lally Layla from Germany? And this is what I made, the poinsettia little person. And do you remember me telling you there's two more to make? Well, those, I'd really like to make those. So obviously there's the Santa Mouse I want to knit. There's the steroid looking robin that's some crocheting it's not because of how i've made it by the way this is the pattern i will show you a photograph and actually i found out toff do a teeny weeny robin it still doesn't look like a natural bird shape it's just like a snowman round body round head and then little wings and some little feet and a beak but uh i think it's 18 pound 
it is to buy to uh, purchase the kit you can't just get the pattern and i went scouring the internet uh last night trying to see if i could just find the pattern because with the yarn i've got i could make a teeny weeny robin but i can't say so if anybody knows anyone that's selling the tuft mini robin they're just selling the pattern please let me know because i really want to make it but i just don't want to spend it might have been more than 18 pound i just don't want to spend that kind of money especially when i've got the yarn just to get a pattern and the thing is i could copy caesar the penguin do you know i made caesar all i could do is just do it in the robin colors and put the wings on but the feet are different because obviously the penguins they've got flipper feet but the robin he's got like his they look like they curl around but do you know what i could i think i could recreate those i think if i did maybe do you know what i'm going to be yeah leave <laughs> leave it with me i'm going to do the same as what i did with that uh footballer had the, the toft footballer and i turned it into an angel i think i'm going to do the same i think i'm going to turn caesar the penguin into a baby robin what do you think and i don't think it would make long take very long to make the only thing is it's knowing when to do the color changes because if you have a look this is what the big robin looks like so maybe if i try and recreate that a little bit like you could be really lazy and not do the color change on the body just keep the red going but then he wouldn't be a robin red breast then would he so yeah anyway the delivery now this is naughty if i'd open it open it now do you remember me saying i've ordered the christmas surprise of cool crafting or cool crafting yeah sometimes you might hear me say uh craft and sometimes you hear me say craft uh yeah i'm I sometimes i say some words a bit different basically I, I try to speak Queen's English. I've said this before, but I live very close to Birmingham. I'm a Midlander and just this brummy twang just wants to come come out to me. <laughs> and I just, and I, and I get a bit torn and I find I adjust how I speak. I think I kind of, my, my husband sounds more Birmingham than I do. And sometimes when I'm with him, I kind of try and get to his level do you know what i'm saying and then I, I think when i speak how i want to speak um he finds that strange it's really weird is it but my husband and i we often speak to each other in accents anyway foreign accents so we we rarely speak in our proper way anyway to each other you know like my, my, our son thinks we're crackers he says why can't you and dad just call each other by that your names and speak to each other in your own language but you know <laughs> i suppose when you've been with someone 20 years uh it just makes life a bit more interesting doesn't it so anyway it is a christmas surprise now do not fear I'm not saying I'm going to open this. I'm just, I tell you what, I'm going to open the paper. I'm not going to show you and I'll see if it's going to give anything away. And if, if it is, I'll, and I, I don't know what I'm going to do, but if, I'm, if there's going to be any spoilers, I'll tell you to turn, turn this video off. Because what I'll do is I won't film any more today, I don't think. I haven't got any dinner sorted. Uh, what it is, I could feed everybody with what i've got in the house but you know with fussy teenagers they would be like no i don't fancy that you just know what they're like <laughs> it's a bit squished actually ah right i'm just letting you know on the boxes there are no spoilers all it has is stickers with a stamp on and a special delivery from the North Pole. No peak until the 25th. Oh, no peak until the 25th. Right, and there is a card in here. Let me have a look. May your festive season be filled with joy, creativity and love. With love from Sarah and everyone at Cool Crafting. So I'm going to show you the card. That's lovely, isn't it? Now, this is not what we're going to be making. Right, I'm just letting you know that's just a card they've sent. Now, right. Ooh, I'm leaning on the scissors. Oh, I'm wearing my Andy sweater again. The, you know, the French company. Um, 
what do they call deer and doe and uh, i made it in that nice jersey the rib stripe jersey yeah hence i said i only wear this for go places with my husband i've been with my husband right um i'm going to nip on facebook now right i'm going to going to come back to you in a moment and i'm just going to put the feelers out i'm going to find out if anybody's opening these right so bear with me i'll be back in a moment right i'm back right i have swung back and forth about this i've opened mine right i'm not waiting to the 25th i cannot keep that inside of me obviously i'm not going to be making this um at the moment anyway but um yeah i just i could say spoiler alert turn off now if you don't want to know but i've opened i had the animal and the clothes and all i'm gonna say is they're gorgeous and there's even a gender that it's an animal that i haven't made as and there's a gender there's a, you know with the clothes that there is i think i know you can't really say that these days but it, it looks more like one gender than the other that's all i'm going to say so do you know what i don't know what yeah i'm gonna have to keep it a secret because it, i don't want to ruin it for anybody <laughs> right if you really if you really want to know maybe i could include it at the end maybe let me know if you think I, sh I could share what's in these boxes at the end of tomorrow's video just do a massive spoiler alert and say but if you think i shouldn't do that i don't want to really upset somebody and you know and have a big argument online you know for doing it you know because remember that um hassle i had with the mandy shaw the secret society and I had that person uh, disliking every video and things remember so um yeah let me know if you really want me to share this at the end of next video or you really think i shouldn't i think if anybody says just don't do it even with a, a warning then i probably won't but um yeah we'll just see maybe if someone really wants to know i could send message someone privately maybe if there's any right don't do it don't do it <laughs> but yeah it's a lovely little bit and yeah and i can't i can't show you at the moment i need to sleep on it and i need a bit of advice from you at home what i should do because i could basically warn people turn off now couldn't i so anyway i'm going to go i'm going to clock off for today i have to sort out what everyone's going to be eating and things and i guess i'm going to be sitting up upstairs this evening crocheting my robin robin that's what i suspect will happen i might even finish it who knows because i've got quite far with it haven't i so yeah so anyway thank you so much for joining me today i hope there was something of interest obviously it's really difficult for me to make these videos interesting every single day because some days i'm just rushed off my feet with life and to try and like do something fun to show you is really difficult so that's why i just kind of took you along guys skating and things because it's kind of Christmassy, isn't it there's people that only go skating once a year you know i go at least once a week don't i so anyway so i'm going to go and uh, and i'll see you tomorrow bye <laughs>